You're over 40 years old now. Maybe you're 50, maybe you're 60. What's got to change in your workouts? Your mindset. Your mindset must change in your workouts, and I'm going to tell you why. You're not the person that you used to be in your teens, your 20s, your 30s. Your body's changing. You hit 40 years old, and everything about your metabolism is changing. You may still have the strength, but you're more prone to injuries now, and you have to learn how to train smarter, not harder. So how do you do this? First of all, you got to check the ego at the door and go into the gym and train with weight you know that you can handle with the proper form and the proper execution of the exercises. You got to worry about, am I going to tear something? Am I going to pull something? Am I going to hurt myself if I deadlift 315? That depends on you and the type of training you've been, you've been doing. But when you're over 40 years old, you really have to rethink your training. And I know when I turned over 40, and I'll be 59 in a few months, I switched it up drastically and started training higher repetitions with a little bit lighter weight. You know, back in my younger days, I could do heavier weight with higher reps, but I'm not that young guy anymore. I can't use that heavy weight with the high reps. I've lightened up the weight. I go for the high reps. And honestly, my pumps are so crazy. Like you hear me say, that skin splitting pump, and that's what it's all about. Don't worry about people watching you in the gym and the type of weight that you're handling. No one really gives a shit. What you should really care about is how your workouts are going. Are you getting those crazy skin splitting pumps in your workouts? That's what it's important. You know, if you're in the gym and there's a guy training, you know, not too far from you and he's handling his monster weights and you got to check that and, and put that aside out of your mind. You know, you used to be able to do that when you were his age. Not so much anymore. Train smarter, not harder. Lighten up the weights and go for the high repetition, supersetting, drop setting, pyramiding, you know, change it up. Don't fall into that trap trying to keep up with the younger generation. First of all, you don't know what they're using gear wise, steroid wise, and it's not worth the risk of getting hurt in here. You tear a muscle, you're done. That's a trip to the orthopedic surgeon. And it's only a repair, it's a band-aid fix. You're never gonna be what you used to be. And I'm telling you, walking around with a torn bicep, torn tricep, torn pec, it's no fun. It affects your quality of life. It stands out like a sore thumb. People take notice. And that's the last thing you wanna be is that topic of conversation. Wow, look at that guy's got, a, he looks pretty good, but man, look at that torn bicep. Who wants to hear that? You've been training all these years. Why would you want to risk the injury later on? You know, I had a quad tendon rupture years ago. It wasn't from training in the gym. I slipped on a step and I blew my left quadricep tendon. I was prepping for the Masters Universe, the Nava Masters Universe, to finish out my competition career. Well, that injury put me out of the game because the quad tendon repair, sure, you can get it back. And there are guys who have gone into the gym and have started training heavy and all this. Not me, pal. I know better. I can handle a decent amount of weight, but I know my limitations. And I'm not about to go into that kind of crazy training and re-tear that injury. It ain't happening. It's about quality of life. Train smarter, not harder. Change your diet once you reach the age of 40. Cut them complex carbs down. Raise your proteins up a little bit more. Your metabolism is slowed down. You gotta change your eating habits along with changing your training habits because the fast metabolism you had in your teens and your 20s and your 30s isn't the same metabolism that's gonna take you from your 40s to your 50s to your 60s. Slow it down. Don't eat like it's Thanksgiving. That's another term you always hear me saying. My meals consist of three, maybe four times a day, smaller meals, and I do very low complex carb, if any complex carb at all. I follow more of the keto carnivore diet, and it keeps my body fat levels low. It also suppresses my appetite. I pretty much eat when I'm hungry. And I'm, I got on the scale the other day, I was 269 pounds. I'm not a small man at six foot three at almost 59 years old. So follow my lead. Listen to what I'm telling you guys. Get my training videos that I posted back in uh, January. I go over a lot in these training videos when it comes to diet and training and how to take your training to the next level, regardless whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or an advanced lifter, regardless of whether you've been training forever in a day or you're just getting started. These videos are for everybody. There's something in these videos for everybody especially the diet, the keto diet video is very, very crucial when it comes to getting over that 40, 50, 60 year mark. It can be done, I've done it. I also reversed my type two diabetes. I became diabetic once I reached the age of 40, type two diabetic. 
I'm no longer that diabetic. I reversed it. I haven't been on insulin in almost a year. Matter of fact, March 12th will be a year. So if you have any questions, reach out to me. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in the next edition of Championship Muscle. Check out the link in my description for those training videos. You'll be glad you did. Thank you.